Ottawa Fire Services Station 93 in Greeley and along with some firefighters from Station 91 in Medcalf, we will be demonstrating vehicle rescue techniques for the next half hour or so. If you happen to be involved in collision and find yourself trapped, call 911 if you are able. Tell the dispatcher that you are trapped in your vehicle, answer those questions as best as you can and follow their instructions. Providing accurate information will ensure the deployment of adequate resources which will include the addition of specially trained and equipped extrication teams such as Rescue 93. It is worth noting that most federal pumps including Medcalf, Osgood, Manitick, Bars are rescue pumps. Most motor vehicle incidents can be mitigated with the staffing and equipment on those vehicles. The heavy rescue has larger capacity equipment that is necessary at more complex incidents. The extrication process begins with the initial dispatch and the information provided by the dispatcher. Information provided such as make and model, position of vehicle will allow responders to initiate their strategies en route. The fun stuff's coming. One more paragraph here. The first arriving apparatus or officer will establish command reporting obvious conditions and assessing the need for uh, resources here obviously we have a vehicle that's been involved in some sort of incident and we have one individual trapped inside extrication activities begin on on scene begin with the initial approach to the vehicle while carefully assessing for patients and safety related hazards this is scene stabilization when we establish a scene we create a clear safe area we position our vehicle uh, to protect our uh, first responders from traffic, establishing a, a hot zone. We also establish the lighting at night. We'll identify and cordon off uh, hazards such as down wires, broken poles, standards, or other unstable situations. Motorists are, resigned, are reminded to drive with caution near an incident occurring on a roadway. If possible, pull as close as you can to the opposite side from the incident. A charged a hose line, a charged hose line manned by a firefighter and pulled personal protective equipment is required when we're doing extrication. See the firefighter from Station 91 doing that. We are now in the process of stabilizing the vehicle. This is to prevent sudden and unexpected movement of the vehicle in any direction. If the vehicle's wheels down, uh, any rescue pump can probably uh, take care of this task very efficiently. If this vehicle is on its side uh, or on its roof, uh, the heavy rescue would complete the task. We will neutralize the vehicle at some point. But we don't want to do it too soon in case there's power seats, power locks, etc. that we can uh, make use of. But we want to make sure that we de-energize airbags and other uh, protective equipment. We want to get vehicle access. The, is, the purpose is first to access uh, the victim. The way we get to the victim is not necessarily the way the victim is going to come out. Often, uh, initial access is by breaking uh, a window glass or access through the rear window. We get uh, one of our members to the, the victim. Once our member is at the victim, he's now become our patient. not so easy.
tools that we're using weigh about 35 pounds a piece and they operate at a whopping 10,000 PSI. This gives 140 tons of cutting force and 14 tons of spreading force over 28 inches with our jaws. Now the common use tool uh, has a capacity about 75% of the other two. Uh, what it, make, it loses in strength, it makes up for in versatility. You can see that our medical personnel are at the patient. They'll, uh, they've applied a C-spine immobilization and they will maintain that until the victim is, or our, our patient is removed from the vehicle. If we can open one door, taking the whole side off is much better in terms of full access to the patient. Interior trim panels will be removed uh, to reveal anything uh, hazards underneath that uh, we don't really want to cut, like free tensioners, air shocks, uh, nader bolts, seatbelt spools, and or heavily reinforced metal areas. Firefighters break glass or any other thing that communicate to the, our patient inside that there may be some noises they're not used to. Uh, we don't like to surprise them. There's lots of noises going on. We are making progress. purposes of this demonstration it's a bit overkill but we're taking both sides off uh, have one team kind of racing the other just to uh, see what they can do uh, obviously we get to the patient uh, as quickly and uh, with as minimal damage as possible if that's the case for disentanglement the purpose is to remove the vehicle from around the patient we're not gonna just yank the patient out of the vehicle so to speak right so we're unwrapping the vehicle from around the patient. People who are into uh, hydraulics here, as I mentioned earlier, our, our, the pressure in the uh, tools is 10,000 PSI. It's kind of a unique setup where the high pressure hose is actually enclosed inside a low pressure hose.
see now we have very good access to our patient from either side. Uh, we'll remove that B post on the driver's side. And he would come out very easily. Right, slide him onto a backboard, a spinal board, maintaining the C sign, C sign, sorry, C spine immobilization. And our paramedic partners be on scene at this point and they would uh, assume patient care. related incident or the objective is it's called a golden hour we're trying to get the patient out of the vehicle under an hour from time of incident and into the emergency room at the hospital in under an hour so travel time something we can't really do anything about but extrication the techniques itself uh, we want to do it as rapidly as we can and safely as we can you see now from the driver's side we have full full access to the patient Just to speed things up a, a little, and he's able to walk out on his own. Sometimes we need even more access. Total roof removal is the single most effective rescue task that provides the greatest degree of patient access for all occupants of a vehicle. Total roof removal is effective especially for vehicles with thin roof pullers or powered sunroofs. So we turn this car into a convertible rather quickly. Firefighters have previously prepared uh, the areas where they are cutting, exposing any potential hazards. At the front, we've cut the windshield, and uh, the roof will be coming off shortly. As we remove parts from the vehicle, the vehicle gets lighter. Uh, we have to recheck our stabilization again, uh, assuming the patient's still in there. Uh, we don't want the vehicle bouncing around one way or the other.
is your Volkswagen convertible? Make us an offer. For dash roll to move the vehicle away from the occupants. In addition to spreaders and cutters, the fire service has rams of various lengths that exceed 15 tons of force. We return to the station and ensure readiness for the next incident. Thank you very much for watching. Have a safe and fun evening.